Hey, this is Jason with 4W Knives. Today we have some high carbon steel, Damascus, and some nickel. We are going to do a go my construction and make a tonto. Okay, this tonto will be my entry into the viewer portion of the YouTuber knife making challenge. This year, the challenge is to make a samurai weapon. Of course, I picked the tonto, but it will be a modern version not a traditional. All right, so we'll have the ladder Damascus followed up with a nickel shim because you know I like nickel. I'm going to triple up on my ADCRV for the core, come back with the nickel, and end it with the ladder Damascus. So it comes out to around 0.88, or just over uh, three quarters of an inch thick, four and a half long, inch and a half wide. I'm thinking that I'll probably get it out to around 20 inches, maybe 20, 21. Uh, shape that I'm going for something like that it's a little rough but uh, get the idea I'm uh, gonna do a little tonto so we'll see how it goes hopefully I don't mess it up too much Tontos, like a lot of the Japanese knives, are pretty intricate in their details. Uh, when I decided to do this challenge, I really wanted to embrace that part of the build. However, this is the middle of my season that I coach, and it was extremely hot in Oklahoma. I just didn't have the time. I couldn't get out here, and when I could, it was too hot, so I had to modernize it much more than what I wanted. Uh, as you see, I run into some difficulties, but the finished blade itself, the steel of this turns out really good. So if anything, stay for my mess ups and stay to take a look at that steel. I, I was really happy with the blade itself. All right, so here it is after shaping. It has come out to about 0.14 on the calipers. That'll be a little thinner by the time I'm finished. I'm doing things a little different. I'm going to go ahead and heat treat this blade now and do all my grinding after heat treat. I'm just afraid that with the length and the fact that it is a go my and has so many different stills in it, that warping is probably likely. So I'll do three thermal cycles and then heat treat it 
or quench it and then hopefully it'll come out straight after I put it in the jig so we'll see All right, we are officially at the part of the build that I have no idea what I'm doing. Up to this point, we've got the knife shaped, heat treated, ready to go. Uh, I am going to go ahead and add a hibaki. I've never done that. Watched a few videos, but uh, they make it look really easy. I'm going to go ahead and cut some edges into this, uh, shape this uh, copper pipe around it the best that I can, and hope for the best. Uh, hopefully it looks decent hopefully my blade work covers the rest so uh hope you get something out of it if not anything else just maybe there's got to be a better way than the way jason did it so anyways here we go All right, so I thought I would show how I'm doing this again. I don't know if it's the right way. So I've got this uh, pinched around it pretty good. I marked an extra piece of copper on how high into it it needs to go. So I'm gonna keep it right at that mark. And I've got a piece of solder that I'm going to put inside. Put this in the vise, heat this up, and hopefully that solder will melt down into this and solidify it. If it does that, then I'll take it to the well or the grinder and clean it up and make it look a little bit more presentable. So that's the plan. See if it works. So I did mention that I knew nothing about what I was doing. This is a disaster. It's my third attempt. I'm having a hard time getting it to fit right. Um, and it looks crap. So I'm scrapping it. We're running out of time on the deadline. I'd love to figure out how to do it, maybe in a future project. Uh, but for now, I have milled this piece of G10 for a guard. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on and use this piece of cedar to make the soya and the handle out of it. I know uh, I mentioned at the beginning this was not going to be a traditional tonto, uh, so it's going to be less traditional than what I'd hoped. But uh, moving forward, it's all right. I'm going to eventually get to some of the things that I kind of know how to do, like grinding bevels and making a blade. So hope you stick with me. Um, please, in the comments, add anything I could have done to do better. Uh, luckily with this challenge, there's gonna be a lot of videos out. Maybe I can learn uh, from somebody that knew what they were doing. Uh, for now, moving forward, maybe you can learn something from me or fail with me and we'll learn something together. I don't know. Either way, I appreciate you watching. Let's see what we got. All right, so first off, I'm pretty sure cedar's not the absolute best handle material I could be using for this. 
but one thing I know about it is it is pretty. It turns out great, uh, and it's one of my favorite woods. So I go ahead and I follow through with it, get it routed out, get it all glued together, and then try to get it shaped. Uh, this was, again, a challenge. This, this whole build's been a challenge. Uh, there's so many things I would do different the next time. If I uh, end up making a video in the future, I'll make sure that I mention and include all the things that I did differently on the new build. Uh, just definitely in my wheelhouse to do it. I just didn't perform it as well as what I would have liked in this video and on this project. As I mentioned earlier, I've watched quite a few Tonto making videos before I started this, and every one of them made these things look easy. Uh, grinding the tip into this was not easy. Um, I still don't know if I did it right, if it looked right. It turns out okay, but as far as trying to make it more Tonto-like, I don't know if I hit the mark. Uh, Again, though, that's why I like doing these challenges, is it makes me do something that I don't normally do. So, anyways, I'll let you watch. I had to cut out a little bit of video. Uh, didn't come out very good, but you can see here I got the finished product. Um, everything functions as I would expect it to. Uh, it slides in, the blade fits pretty good. Um, man, just that uh, pattern on this was popping. Really, really happy with it. Uh, as I said earlier, there's a lot of things I would do differently, and I will make another Tonto down the road. I might or might not include a video in that so you guys can come along for it. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would have done differently. I'm sure there's a hundred things in there. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm glad you guys watched. I hope you enjoy all the other videos out there. I know I will. Uh, have a good one. And until the next time.